Hello everyone, this is Zach from Data Miner, and here we have another um, YouTube streaming. We are here to once again talk about data mining, and more specifically, let's get rid of that. Um, more specifically, we're here to talk about pagination and how to um, use pagination in Data Miner, because obviously Data Miner is the the tool of choice for us um, for data mining and scraping. Um, and in the past live streams, we've talked about um, everything from how to use the Chrome browser or the Chrome extension, um, which is right here on my screen. As you can see, we've learned how to look inside the HTML and get the information, um, extract all the different uh, text and links from within the HTML. Um, and once again, we're going to kind of build on that. And what we'll be doing today is um, implementing all that into the data miner uh, extension. So today, we're just going to specifically look at pagination. Um, so let's kind of revisit real quick what I meant by pagination. Um, pagination is the process of clicking to the next page and um, scraping the data. Um, at least that's how data miner uses it. And I will show you now how to use pagination in Data Miner. All right, so as you should remember, um, we're going to capture the XPath or use the XPath to paginate. And the way we did that before was let me just um, go up so we have our history of our different XPaths that we wrote last time. So as you might remember, what we ended up using to capture the, the link was. Um, concat and then www.data-miner-data-miner.io uh, and then sandbox and then the actual xpath. That is what got us oh, we don't need that. That's what got us the um, the URL of the next page. So I'll click on that now and as you can see that took us to page 2. So now using that same information we can put that into data miner and then that's how we will paginate. So let's open up Data Miner. And for just for this example, we're just going to do a new recipe so you can see how pagination works. We're not going to worry about scraping right now. So let's just do create a recipe. And let's get rid of all that. All right, so in Data Miner, there are a few different columns or different areas um, on the left here, on the left column. And the f our focus will be on the auto pagination. So as you can see, there the te test next page is currently grayed out. And start auto pagination isn't going to work because we haven't put anything in. So to put an next path in, we're going to do um, select auto pagination settings. And then you can see an area, a field for X path for next page. So this is where we're going to put the XPath we wrote from our last uh, live YouTube. So if you'll remember, we had this whole um, this whole string of concat, www. Dot. So we actually will not need to use all of this. It's actually much easier within Data Miner. So we can essentially eliminate the, um, the concat element. So let's get rid of that. And then we also don't need the, um, the at href because data miner has already kind of pre-programmed that button to know it's going to be looking for the href. So all it needs is the element. So that is the XPath that all that all we'll need. So if we just press enter now in the um, inspector, you'll see it doesn't really do much. Oh, there's also a, a necessary item um, element right there. So let's try this again. One more time. Maybe, oh, let's try this. There we go. All right, so after a little trial and error, um, XPaths can be very nitpicky. Um, so as you can see, we now just captured the A element, which is the next. And that is exactly what Data Miner is looking for. It's going to look for that element, and then it will click on it automatically. So now let's take that XPath that we just wrote. And now let's put it in data miner. 
All right, awesome. And now it gave us a little um, warning saying, or not warning, but just a notification saying, found an element with the tag name A. That's good because that is the element that we want to capture. And then um, the next items here are pretty much, you're always gonna wanna keep them have a default. So click on element. So that's obviously what we want to do. We want to click on the next button. And then wait time between page navigation is essentially just a delayed amount of time that awaits to scrape. So for example, if you have pretty slow internet connection, you're gonna to wanna to keep um, a pretty long wait time because this wait time allows the page to load before it scrapes. If it scrapes too quickly and the page doesn't load, your scrape will fail. Um, so we're gonna just keep it at six, which is the default, and it works great for me. I think it will work really well for you. Um, so now that we have um, our um, element and it can find it successfully, we're going to now just go ahead and test it. So do test next page. Awesome. Now, as you can see, it clicked all the way to the second page. And um, typically, you'd want to use start pagination. Um, but since we're not scraping any data, it won't work this time. Um, so I will just do next page as a test one more time to show you what happens when we reach the end. So next test next page, and now we're on page three. And now a really awesome feature of Data Miner is if it can't find the item, it will just automatically stop and conclude your scraping. So let's do test next page one more time. And since you couldn't find the A, because the next button is now gone, um, it now cannot find it. So at this point, it would automatically stop the pagination and do its final scrape. Um, so now that we have this, um, essentially at this point, we can su successfully uh, click to the next page. And then the next to do would be to learn how to actually use an XPath to scrape a specific item. So now that we know how to get the link, um, we're also going to want to start putting in XPaths. Um, I'll show you that area. So this XPath for row and XPath for columns, that's something we can work on our next uh, YouTube live. That is where we'll discuss using these XPaths to capture the information and scrape. So for example, we could find an XPath for an individual's name, and then we can combine that with the pagination. So once you do the full start pagination, it will scrape every individual's name, and then click to the next page, scrape everyone's name, and then finally click to the last page, scrape everyone's name, and then stop. So I think that um, that's enough for now, but that's a little heads up to what we'll be learning in the future for our next uh, YouTube streaming. Um, I know this was a lot, um, but so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or email email us at support at data-miner.io. Um, so just again, this was a quick YouTube live to show you how to use the next page XPath in Data Miner to automatically um, click to the next page. Well, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks, bye.